There's tons of gold in this crack. It just doesn't end. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. Today will be a quick day. I'm getting in my wetsuit and going in my favorite river to look for some gold nuggets. Let's go. So today will be a relatively colder day as the ice hasn't fully melted, but that's not gonna stop me. And the goal for today is to find as much gold as possible. Even though the gold might be small, it will all add up. That bottle that you see me holding is called a snuffer bottle, and that's what we use to suck up the gold. But if you're lucky, you'll need to take the lid off to put in the bigger pieces, and that's what we all want. Please excuse my camera work in this little section. There's a lot of current blowing through my head and it was really hard to hold the camera still. But this little crack here was providing me with a lot of little pieces. So I changed spots and moved towards the center of the river. This is typically where you're gonna find the bigger pieces of candy. Just like that. It's definitely gonna be hard to see what's gold on camera, but trust me, when you are there in person, you can't miss it. I took my glove off again because, you know. <laughs> I keep sinking. Bloop. Again, even though most of the time you will be finding small gold, and yes, it will all add up, but the feeling of finding gold in any capacity is always just as exciting. Yeah, another one. This technique I like to call foot fanning. It's an easier way to move gravel that's deeper, but also rips holes in your boots really fast. Boulders are also lighter underwater, but sometimes they're just as difficult to move. Sometimes sucking up gold can be very difficult. Four! <laughs> Second one I got stuck with the... Uh oh. So I couldn't find that piece of gold I lost, but I just found another piece to replace it. There's some nice hard packed material down there. I'm gonna keep clearing out this gravel and see what lies below. There's tons of gold in this crack. It just doesn't end. All right, this piece replaces that last one I lost. Haha, 
didn't lose this one. Not bad. So what I'm looking for is these dark patches. Those are patches of bedrock, and that's where you're gonna find those crevices where the gold is. I'm gonna cross the river and see what we find. It's always best to lean forward against the current so you don't get blown downstream. And yes, it's happened before. Now, I've noticed this side of the river, it's a lot slower, which means there's gonna be a lot more material that is packed, which also means it's gonna be harder to work, but could also mean more gold. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was easy. I blew at the gravel, looked away, came back, and there it was. I think it's about a gram. <laughs> Should I risk it? <laughs> Don't drop it. Hiya! Cool. All right. So, uh, this sucks. All right, so this happens to the best of us. But I'm laying right here and sniping in the river right here. And my foot must have knocked down my snuffer bottle. <laughs> so all that gold I found today is floating down the stream somewhere down there. It's part of the game. So Martin here had a spare snuffer bottle and he gave it to me. Woohoo! Now, let, now let's start again. Yeah. Oh, that's disappointing. But I gotta say, it's really fun finding them because it's like a, it's like a gift. So with that out of the way, let's find some gold. All right, I found our second piece of gold with this. The first one, I, uh, I didn't have a camera with me, so I had to go get it. Stay. We got, we got a rescue, Bart. <laughs> Grab my hand. Grab my hand! Ugh. There you go. Yeah! The current is pretty strong. Not gonna lie. So my boot here has a hole in it, which is why I was resting it on the bedrock, which caused me to knock over my snuffer. What I'm doing here is removing some big boulders that I found in a pile. Wherever heavy boulders fall, typically gold will fall too. So I'm just checking underneath to see what I can find. Got another one! Oh, cool. I can't suck it up holding the camera. So I'm just having a break right now. I don't think I'm gonna last too much longer. My foot's getting frozen again and I don't want to knock another snuffer bottle into the river. I'll keep going for a little bit longer and hopefully we make up for all that lost gold. <laughs> all right, I'm calling it a day. We found a little bit more gold, but nothing like what we lost, so that's okay. Now let's go back to my place and I'll show you the gold that we did find. All right, back in the blue room. Even though we lost a lot of gold down the river, I'm still gonna say it was still a successful day. So here's the gold I found after we lost the first batch. Now the reason I think I did so well after losing the bottle is I spent more time off camera playing catch up. I did manage to score this chunky piece, so after all, I think I still won. Now to weigh our loot, starting with our huge gold nugget. 40 ounces on the dot. 0.86 grams. Okay, not bad. Now for the other bits. 40 ounces. 1.88 grams. Cool. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. I'm also all over social media if you want to see anything else behind the scenes or any extra footage. And I even have a merchandise store if you're interested to get some Pioneer Poly merchandise. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Until the next one, black screen with logo.